Hi everyone, I would like to share a video explaining how to navigate Blackboard course. So go ahead and go to the STIC website, click eTools and select Blackboard, and then it'll ask you for a username and password. Username should be the first part of your email and your password should be your school ID number. And then select keyboarding. Over on the left hand side you'll have links throughout the Blackboard course. The first one opens up to announcements and I have an um, announcement and I also have what you'll be doing for the first week, the steps. Everything is accessible through Blackboard using the links on the left hand side. So after the announcements there is a course syllabus and you have the link to the Word document, the course syllabus, and also to the outline. Then you have my faculty information, contact information, and then you have my grades and everything that's labeled in here with the assignment and you have a dash. Once something is submitted, it'll be a yellow exclamation point waiting to be reviewed. Once it's reviewed, you get a grade and you also see a blue balloon. And if you click that, that's a comment. And I usually write down a comment um, regarding the assignment. So that's in my grades. And then you have um, the SAM Cengage links, um, tech support, and the dashboard. And then this is um, the registration process. I also have it as a Word document. But if you scroll down a little bit, there is a video that you can watch on how to register your SAM access code. It's under three minutes. Um, it stays this size. So if you'd rather full screen, you can click this link here, and it takes you right to it in full screen. So that's to register your access code. And then you have, if you wanted to use Microsoft Office, there is a link to um, download the free Microsoft, Microsoft Office 365 onto your laptop. It gives you um, Microsoft uh, Applications Word, Access, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote, and it's for free. And you just click there. You'll have to create a, a profile, but you'll be able to download it to your computer, and you can share it with uh, five other family members on their computers and laptops. For the first week, I have, again, the registration for SAM, for your uh, access code, and there's a, a link to videos and the keyboard placement chart. And then I have a couple of other uh, links that you may have access to. Sometimes when you go to a website, it may be blocked and you get a little message up at the top of your screen that you've been blocked from that. So to enable that um, pop up or, or that um, getting at, gaining access to that particular website, there are instructions in here on how to do it either on any of the particular platforms, whether it's Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome, those are the directions there. We also have what's called VDI Access, and this is an amazing feature that's just been added on. It stands for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. And what it does is when you click this, it'll ask you to log in with your, it takes you to the STCC Net Portal, and you log in again with your um, username and password. And it takes you from the current screen that you're on to the access to the stick Computer Labs website, and I'll just share with you what that would be like. So it's reconnecting because I was away from it for a little bit, but it takes you right to what you would see if you were sitting in a lab, a computer lab um, on the STIC campus. And there's two windows, you'd click the top one, and you could navigate to whatever particular software program you wanted to use and it's all accessible on your own computer. This is amazing. Um, to exit, just make sure you always click, click your profile and choose end session. Make sure you always do that when you're finished. But this is an awesome feature, BDI access. Next are Zoom meetings. I have uh, four days a week. I have drop-in meetings. They are not required. They're just a place for people to come in real quick and ask a question or I can help you with, with a particular exercise. So those are always throughout the, the semester. And um, stick resources, I have anything you can probably have, have a question on. You just click the link and it'll take you right to that. Um, there's quite a few, so I try to have as much as that's out there available for you. And then you also have Blackboard help. And here we'll start with week one. Week 15 shouldn't be there. I'll take care of that. So week one, uh, this is what we'll be covering this, is, this particular week. And again, here's the video to... Um, Register for your access code. 
And this is just showing you that most of the time on, on your, your uh, assignments, I'll have a short video on how to do the assignment. And it comes in this size of the screen. Um, usually you click this button here to get full screen, but it doesn't work. If you actually click the word YouTube, it'll open up to full screen. These are directions um, in a Word document on how to submit an assignment. And this is your very first assignment capture a screenshot. So I have a video, it's under two minutes, and I explain what I'd like you to do. In return, you do the assignment and then save it. And in order to submit it to me, you click this link right here, and it takes you to upload assignment, the very first assignment that's due on Saturday. It's worth 100 points, there's the video. And this is the assignment submission. You browse your computer and look for the file that you just saved, and you'll open it, and you'll have it it'll be listed under here as a submission. And if you wanted to put in here a comment um, to me, you could type anything you want privately, and then click Submit. That was the first assignment. The next assignment is split screen assignment. And again, it's just a little over two minutes. Watch the video, and then perform the same action, and save it, and submit it to me. And then you'll take your very first skilled analysis timed writing. It's a two minute timed writing and this is not graded. It's just, um, it's like to have a before and after 15 weeks of hard work, uh, what is your performance after? So this is a before and after. So you'll just take this two minute timing and, and um, be at, it is at a, a no, no, um, it's not graded. There, um, there are videos that are related to the first week's assignment. So if you click that, there'll be three videos. Again, they're um, very short videos, but um, once you've seen the video, click Mark Reviewed. And then let me go back to where I was, week one. You have the videos, and this you can refer to at any point. I have them right here um, if you wanna see them again during the week or during the semester. Uh, the keyboard placement chart, again, um, it's uh, a, um, PDF file with the placement of your fingers on home row and then for every placement for every reach throughout the entire semester. So you can refer to that and again it's over here in keyboard placement chart. So those two are there, they say first week, week but they'll always be available. And then the last one is a video link reflection and you'll have one of these every week. This is um, in place of discussion board. Uh, what I would like you to do is watch each video and there's an assignment sheet and I ask you to reflect or answer a question based on that video. So there's one per week. So this is not shared with anyone. This is your own uh, assignment that you'll turn in and there's one a week. There's no discussion. Instead, it'll be a, a video link reflection. So to, let me go back to announcements. And I have uh, everything that you'll be doing for um, the, the first week. And I'll open up on Wednesday the actual first lesson for those that want to get a jump start on week two. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And I hope you have um, enjoyed the semester and you learn your um, an excellent skill of keyboarding, both speed and accuracy. Thank you.